In this video, I'm going to talk about a plant that is traditionally used in Japan for thatching, but one that I heartily, heartily don't recommend. G'day! Welcome to Chestnut Nags Tools in Japan. My name's Stuart Chignall, and welcome to the series that I'm doing on the building of my workshop entirely with hand tools and using a whole stack of traditional methods from prehistory right up into the modern age. And when I say prehistory right up into the modern age, I'm not talking about a variation in techniques, I'm talking about techniques that have been used from prehistory up until the modern age. And that one of those methods is thatching. You having fun? Yes. Now, around the world, there's a huge variety of materials that are used for thatching. And basically the rule of thumb uh, the primary attribute you need for a material to thatch with is that it be locally available. That is the number one thing. Everything after that is secondary. However, there's a reason that there are a number of materials that are used <laughs> in the modern age. In the UK, primarily it's Norfolk Greed and wheat straw because these materials can be machine harvested and that means there's a whole stack of other thatching materials that used to be used in the UK they're no longer used because they have to be harvested by hand. In Japan it's pretty much the same deal although there are some materials that are being used because it's traditional and one of those this plant which in Japan is called Suzuki but uh, the the scientific name for it is Mis Miscanthus sinensis. Now at first look it looks like a brilliant, brilliant material to thatch with. You can see all these long strands, there's plenty of them, it's really densely growing. Uh, you just get in there with a sickle and cut it. Uh, it. Also another important consideration is how ordered the strands are. They're a little bit messy on the outside but in the internals where it matters they're all neat and parallel and that that's very important because it makes for neat bundles which makes for neat thatch however I wouldn't recommend it the first reason is that well here in Australia at least it's native vegetation the biggest reason I, I'd recommend not using it is because it cuts like a knife now I thought I'd just do a little experiment see what it's like to gather one little bundle and he, as soon as I realized it had the silica teeth on the edges of the, of the leaves, it, I was very careful. But even being very careful, I, I've, 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 this, like, you can't see them. Well, you can see that one. There's blood. I'm bleeding. One, two, three, four, five spots. I've only gathered one bundle. I was being incredibly careful. And because I was having to be careful, I was having to be really slow. And it sucks. Uh, the, these cuts aren't really bleed, like I'm not dripping, but oh, they sting. They sting and sting and sting. So, <laughs> on the waste ground around Bendigo, this stuff is everywhere and you'd think it would make a good thatching material, but no. No, 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 no. Find something else, seriously. Just find something else. Now an update since I last filmed this bit. Let me let me just get out of this wind. Oh. I've done some further research and I'm no no longer sure that this plant is the Miscanthus sinensis. I think it it could be still in the Miscanthus uh, genus, but maybe maybe it's not actually sinensis. I'm not really sure. Regardless, in Japan, the way it seems to grow is not clumping like this, but in continuous stands, which means I think it's of the same genus, but not the same species. And also, which makes a lot more sense now, the bit that they use for thatch is not the leaf, but it's the this seed stalk, which would make it a lot easier to use as thatch. However, you're still going to lose a lot of blood harvesting it. And when there are better materials around, I, I still, yeah, don't recommend it. In fact, I think the only reason the Japanese use it is because it's traditional to use it. Uh, I think Because the common things that they thatch with in Japan are rice straw, which is probably not a surprise, but also water reed, or Phragmantes australis, which it turns out is also known as the common reed, which is also known as Norfolk reed, which means that the same premier 
thatching material is used in the UK, across Europe, and in Japan. And that's the species I'm gonna be showing you next. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, and um, I'll see you online and in the comments. Uh, and if anyone does know what this species is, like definitively, please let me know. Because, yeah, like I said, I'm no longer confident that I, ha I do know what it is.